Thanks. Now to a GMA exclusive from Brussels this morning. My interview with a basketball player who played back in the States, his wife and two young daughters back home in Michigan. He played for Oakland. He was hit in that blast in the airport and then debris pouring down on top of him. The image of him laying on the floor went all over the world. And for the first time this morning, he's now talking, telling me he was thinking about his young girls back home, hoping they would not grow up without a dad. What did you see? Oh, I just saw, I, I remember seeing an explosion, the first explosion near, near the pharmacy at the airport. And um, I turned my head and I saw all these people running. And, uh, and when I got there, I was, you know, I, I think I blacked out for a little bit. And uh, I remember seeing two little kids to my right, you know, and the little hands were up in the air. And, And then the whole the whole time I was just uh, just trying to I told myself I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it and when I got to the well I got in that ambulance then I, I knew I was I was good. So, I guess that's that's the point when I when I was in the ambulance then I knew I was I was all right. But until then it's I got no idea. So that's it, you know, I'm here to fight another day and uh... So in the moment, obviously the, in the most difficult moments that you describe, you're thinking about your wife and your kids? Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I just didn't want, you know, I just want my girls to uh, grow up without a dad, you know. <laughs> Have you talked to them? I talked to my wife. I think she's getting here tomorrow. So uh, it's funny how it's funny how many things you think of. You know, like I, I started playing tennis with my my oldest one, my seven year old. She's a hell of a tennis player, and so I was like, man, <laughs> I got I got I got to get through this, you know, because she she needs her coach, and uh, it's just some of the things that go through your head. So it may seem so trivial, but it gets you it gets you through those moments. He kept telling himself while well, lying on that floor, you're going to make it, you're going to make it, you're going to make it. And you heard him say, you know, you think about the trivial things, but they're not the trivial things. He, he, he was saying, I want to get home so that I can coach my daughter. I just began coaching her tennis. Uh, and now his wife is on the way here to Brussels. And for all of those victims and their families who are suffering and struggling this morning, there are so many beautiful displays of support and strength throughout the city. They've cropped up even more overnight. I know when I was walking here to our location, uh, the amount of chalk written on the buildings all across the streets, everywhere you look, there are signs of love and peace and support and strength. And the hopeful thing is that that helps this city and this world, frankly, heal from what just happened. And the parents who brought their young children to these yep. candles here behind us, uh, right while we're on the air here this morning, uh, a lot of the parents uh, telling us that they wanted to help their children heal. Yep. Uh, and one mom said to me, I tried to explain to my daughters and my son uh, that this is not normal. Right. This, this doesn't happen every day, and we're strong enough to fight back. So a lot of families here, Robin, uh, mm -hmm. trying to show that their city is strong, resilient, and will come back from this. The strength of family. Thank you both. We're going to get back to you a little bit. And David, of course, will be anchoring live from Brussels for a special edition of World News Tonight.